Hello everyone and welcome to the Keeneland Studio. This episode, we'll discuss the industry and corporate trends Keeneland has identified and prioritized for 2020. Joining me in the studio today are to my left, Matt Good, our Chief Technology Evangelist. In the middle there, Jason Toyn, our Chief Technology Officer, and way over there on the far left, Kyle Hansen, our Head of AI Engineering. Welcome to the studio, guys. Thank Thanks you. Man. Thanks for having us. Great. Well, every year, individuals submit their predictions for 2020, but instead of making a list of predictions, let's focus on what's really in front of us. So investments in our software, investments in our culture and people, and investments in our technology. So Matt, what are the trends that we're seeing in the industries that Caitlin serves, and how does that translate or make its way into what Caitlin has planned for 2020? So the trends I think that we're definitely seeing over the past few years into 2020 and even going beyond, it's all about AI and it's all about cloud. Even to the point now where we're seeing that just propagated everywhere. We see it constantly in marketing. We see it from different companies as far as the solutions that they can build. And we feel that we need to continue to play in that space, but our approach to it is to make sure that it solves an actual industry problem, that we have an opportunity to leverage our AI capabilities. And for us, that usually means we're getting some sort of data capability out of unstructured content. It's a space of text analytics. I think that Kyle's gonna dive into a little bit more, but if the trends there are continuing advancements in AI capabilities and how cloud can service those, we're gonna continue to do more of that, um, but it's gonna be very meaningful for the, the problems that, and use cases that we're solving within the industries that we serve. So now, are there some features that you could share that uh, we yeah. expect to see later on yeah, this year? So what we're looking at, certainly for 2020, in the months ahead of us, uh, we're investing primarily in enterprise data management as part of our Kingland platform, in text analytics, um, as part of the AI capability of getting data out of content, as well as in broader investments within what we call compliance management that is more focused on the public accounting industry. So if I walk back there in enterprise data management, we have deeper data, data domain support. We're broadening the capabilities that we have across different data domains that are impactful for industries um, from an enterprise data management perspective. We're expanding and making easier our ability to use our workflow and rules for managing the change on the data domains that we support. And we're just supporting that in collection and kind of a variety of those uh, use cases that we were talking about before in support of clients in those industries that have you know, reason to take um, advantage of that type of data management capability. In EDM, a couple more things we're also going to see, EDM stands for Enterprise Data Management, we're also going to see our continued investment in increased scale in the architecture as well as the security that's needed to support all of that for what we consider very large volume of data because we're going to see in 2020 and beyond we have use cases that we're supporting that's going to see our data volumes explode and the requirements that we have from a security perspective are very, very strong on that type of data. So our enterprise data management platform is going to be continually enhanced to support the security, scale, and architecture needs of those types of data use cases for that volume of data. And then um, on the text analytics side, we've talked about it a little bit already, but it's all about making sure we can get at the data that's necessary for a client for their documents so that they can take action on it and inform a downstream process, inform a monitoring process, inform another data management process, and really get the benefit of getting data um, from unstructured content. And then finally, in compliance, and I didn't want to leave that out, um, it's expanded functionality that we hear from our public accounting use cases. We're broadening its reach within our overall Kingland platform, and we want to make sure that we're building the functionality there that really allows us to continually service those clients and the specific regulatory and compliance needs that they have. There's some key areas of functionality that they need, and it allows them to really continue to move forward on their regulatory reporting requirements, the management of data, about the services that they provide, about their financial holdings to make sure there's no conflict of interest, and allow them to do that in a way that's very usable, convenient for their users. It's administrative, so we want to make sure it's as easy as possible for them as much as, much as we can to make it a, a pleasant experience. So that, re that really sums up across those, those suites, the enterprise data management, text analytics, and compliance areas for 
the industries that we serve. Excellent. It sounds very comprehensive. You bet. Uh, Jason, Kyle, anything that you'd like to add regarding? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the, on the enterprise data management side, I've been really uh, pleased with the, the architectural work we've done there. Um, as Matt mentioned, uh, we're doing a lot of work there to make data management easier, security better. Um, the, the architectural work that we've done recently and implementation work has also really allowed the uh, platform to be, become easier to use. So, you know, one of our goals is to constantly improve our, our speed, our ability to deliver um, our software, our solutions to the market. Our platform, our enterprise data management part of our platform, as an example, is typically part of most of our solutions. And so if we can make that easier for our pro services teams to use, they're going to be able to implement those solutions faster. Um, so we've done a lot of investment there, and, and Matt and team have done a great job um, really uh, simplifying that software and uh, making it a lot uh, much, much more easier for our uh, practitioners to use. Excellent. Well, Jason, let, let's stay with you. Uh, before I do that, though, Kyle, is there anything else you'd like to add? Just that. You know, in 2020, we'll have the opportunity to expand our usage of some of the um, AI techniques we're already using and uh, bring in some exciting new ones for some uh, new opportunities. I think that's great. 2020, start of a new decade, end of yes. a prior year. Nice symmetry to the year. It's going to be phenomenal. We're looking forward to it at Kingland. Excellent. Well, thanks for visiting the Kingland studio today. And I'm sure 2020 is going to be a banner year for Kingland with all that's been planned. And for our viewers, visit kingland.com to learn more about Kingland and the topics we discussed today. Until next time.